Hello guys. In the chat with CS I noticed one aspect of something that was going on in the background. And that was in the live chat that was happening at the same time. I mean it is not really surprising to me of what was happening because I was suffering of the same thing. But it would seem to be that you guys... There is an underlying paranoia or doomsday, let's say, thing that's going on that comes from people discussing prepping for the apocalypse and what have you. That is primarily an aspect that comes from within MGTOW, but also mainly comes from not engaging too much with the outside world. After that chat, both CS and I were chatting about how people must view this world from a very different perspective than him and I do. I'm not going to try and counter prove that the apocalypse is not happening or that the zombie virus is not being manufactured somewhere to take us all. As with everything, there is an element of truth in what people are discussing or thinking. A flu virus with enough shift from the previous ones that we're used to in its structure could wipe us all out. A rabies virus moving from human to human can theoretically be seen as quite similar to the zombie apocalypse, but of course it won't be any walking dead, because dead can't really walk. There are nuclear disasters that can take place, huge earthquakes, tsunamis, there is the apocalypse that I even touched on, but that's the internet for you. That's not the real world. I want to branch out and talk about this problem a little bit more. It occurs in all areas, specifically within MGTOW, but it of course occurs in areas of the Red Pill community as well. There is an ongoing paranoia which occurs by primarily focusing on the negative aspects of something so as to try and explain it or understand it further. Sure, we mentioned that we want to unravel the truth, but as life would have it, truth usually unveils really ugly things about the real world. In the aspects of the red pill and within MGTOW, uh, the collapses of all sorts are being discussed and I think the problem is perpetuated by talking to a large percentage of people with the same bias as yourself. The red pill and the MGTOW community suffers to a large extent by confirmation bias which tends to make people quite paranoid. What's worse, this paranoia is intensified by attracting even more paranoia which expands its reaches to the Illuminati or whatever else people might imagine. Meanwhile, in the real world, no such discussion will ever take place. Meanwhile, in the real world, people are working and trying to save up for that new car, for that new home, for that holiday that they want to go to. Meanwhile, people are focusing on ongoing issues or no issues at all, such as what I do in my everyday life. You return back to the manosphere and then you will hear about prepping, living in a bunker, avoiding any and every interaction with people because everything is just awful. Awful everywhere. I mean, right now, there is one certainty of a sort of apocalypse that can take place, and that is in the case of global warming. The science is there, and it's pointing towards the direction that it is actually happening, and we have proof of that. But no one is doing shit about it, because, you know, eating meat, driving cars, fucking everything up, it's easy, and it's nice, it's comfortable. And by the way, I'm not doing shit about it either, but I guess that can also be a conspiracy of sorts, if you read closely everywhere on the internet. So... All I'm going to say is simply disengage. If you find your thoughts are getting increasingly negative, if you find that your future always looks like nothing really great, you need to disengage yourself. Negative outlooks and continuous thoughts about doomsday scenarios create an environment where only depression and anxiety can flourish. There is a line, and everyone needs to recognize where that line lies before rational thoughts and thoughts of being well prepared for a potential negative outcome in your life may come in handy, and where such thoughts may have gotten the better of you, let's say. The quickest fix in that is disengaging completely with the source of those thoughts, whether that is the manosphere, a friend who keeps going on and on and on about all his conspiracy theories and such websites. Just disengage from it all and start living in the real world. I'm not saying that the real world is all butterflies and rainbows and farts that smell like roses, but it is at least the reality that you come face to face all the time, and that's the kind of reality you need to be prepared for. Be well prepared, but don't be overly paranoid. Get some sleep, go for walks in the countryside, talk to some people, go out for a beer with your mates and chat about things that everyone else chats about. The echo chamber creates a new sense of normal that is so far detached from reality that in the end you lose every connection with such reality. So in conclusion, every now and then, disengage and engage with the real world. Go out there and live your life. That's all I had to say. Take care.